We don't get good news very much, do we? I was thinking about a lot of different things I could talk about on the tech channel today, and you know, I was like, huh, the Galaxy S10 launch date is the exact day we thought it was gonna be. <sighs> I guess we've got to wait another 30 days, 40 days actually, and then be like, well, the S10 is exactly what we thought it was going to be. <sighs> But I thought we could change things up a bit despite all of the criticisms we've been giving the latest iPhone and how terrified we all are that that camera module on the back is real. Let's take a break for a second and highlight some good news we got from a display manufacturer, AMS, which analysts believes 45% of this company's production goes towards the iPhones. And they've got some interesting technology that I was hoping to highlight for you today that can hopefully start to turn that frown upside down. You can have a little bit of hope for the future. So here's why the not might be getting a little bit smaller pretty quick. So I don't know how often this company, AMS, actually releases statements like this, but they've said they developed a new technology that is able to embed very common sensors known to be used in biometrics like Face ID, like 3D mapping sensors, IR blasters. They've figured out how to embed these sensors underneath an OLED display panel so that they can still keep firing those dot projectors and that 3D mapping technology through an OLED display, which means, as I've predicted for a long time, that the display technology is finally getting advanced enough and the sensors that are used in Face ID are getting good enough that they can continue working even if they don't have a designated notch. Now, the good news stops here pretty quickly because that does not mean that they figured out a way to embed the camera underneath an OLED display and have it start working yet. As I've talked about previously, this technology is theoretically possible and the technology to make an OLED display go transparent so that, for instance, a camera could look through that display, take your picture or unlock your phone with Face ID, and then the pixels could take over the camera sensor again, that should be possible because we've seen displays before that can turn on pixels and then turn them off again and make the display transparent, but it's quite expensive. It's not probably that likely to be implemented onto a smartphone anytime soon, but the good news is those biometrics that have been taking up the majority of the size of that notch on an iPhone could soon be implemented underneath that OLED display panel and we could overall get tinier notches on iPhones while still retaining that utmost security security we get from Face ID in the design of iPhones could very quickly become either a water drop notch or as some leakers out there are confirming by 2020 we could be having a camera hole perhaps in the middle of the display not to the side like they are in the Galaxy S10s and before everyone gets wild in the comments Drew and saying oh you hate the camera hole when Samsung does it but you don't hate Apple when they do the camera hole I have never said that I hate the camera hole I've never claimed that all I've said is that it's not that different from a notch a camera cutout is still a camera cutout and you'll reason I gave Samsung so much crap for it is because they mocked everyone and teased everyone for having camera cutouts and then went along themselves and decided to have a camera cutout. Personal preference aside, whether or not you think the camera hole is better than a notch, some people say yes, some people say no, it's still a camera cutout. So if you're going to mock people for having it and then do it yourself, that's hypocritical. So that's where that criticism came from. I'm totally okay with the idea of iPhones having camera holes in them. I just don't think it's going to make that big a difference because you're still going to have to make that awkward decision when you turn your phone in landscape and be like, oh, do I do I want to embrace the camera hole? Do I want to not embrace it? Do I want to hold it on this side or this side? Or you still have to make all of the same compromises and all of the same choices that you have to make when you have a notch. So in the grand scheme of things, I say a camera hole is really not that much different, but I'm just very, very excited that this company, AMS, is finally giving us some evidence that work is being done to shrink that notch as much as possible. In other words, companies are listening, companies are in a race now to find the most creative and unique way of erasing that notch and probably not doing it with a slider or a motorized camera or a display on the back that cancels out wireless charging and makes repairing the phone impossible. The first phone in order to remove that camera cutout entirely and truly have an equal size bezel on all sides of the phone will get like a good trophy or something from MKBHD. He'll be like, congratulations, you removed the camera cutout in probably the best way. In regards to sales, will it turn it around that much? That I, probably not, but regardless, I want to highlight the good news that companies are gonna be able to keep our effective biometrics like Face ID, hopefully still making them better, like how we got updated versions of Face ID on the iPad Pros that work in more orientations and have a wider field of view. Hopefully they'll be able to embed those sensors underneath the display on the iPhone 
down so that we can finally one day have one size bezel all the way around. And the funny thing is, once that comes around, you're accidentally going to take the phone out of your pocket the wrong way a lot of times, I think. People are gonna be like, oh crap, where's my buttons? Oh, throw it around this way. And the thing is, even in the day when we finally do abandon the notch and abandon the camera hole, and it's just one size bezel, there will probably be a new problem that we're annoyed by, like Apple will remove the lightning port and it will be wireless only. And then we're all just gonna complain about that and be like, nah, I gotta charge my phone and use headphones at the same time. You guys are killing me already. I can already see this counter argument coming. It's 10 miles away, but it's coming. But I personally think as soon as we get smartphones starting to shrink down on that notch, particularly iPhones, and we get that notch as small as possible and as least intrusive as possible, we're gonna look back at the 2017 iPhone 10 and the 2018 lineup of iPhones and go, oh my God, were we okay with that? Look at how giant these camera cutouts are. How did we all just accept that that's what our phone looked like? Even though right now we're all kind of like, well, the notch, it's there. You know, we get used to it. Once it's gone though, you're gonna look back at it and think, oh my god, that was so ugly. But of course, it's a compromise. We gotta settle with a compromise for now in order to have displays that go all the way to the edge of our phones, but still have good biometrics for unlocking it. It's not an easy time for designers right now, and I guess it never is. You know, they're always trying to push the limit and push the boundaries of what a smartphone can be and look like, but I'm just proud that they're still trying. It seems like efforts are being made, and luckily it's not them just going, uh, the notch is fine. Everyone seems to be okay with it, so let's just keep shipping the notch. And then in 2019 and 2020, we can start rocking 5G. Yay, your cellular is way faster now, but we're still gonna down throttle it after 15 gigs. You're welcome. Anywho, let me know what you think of this news of the display sensors finally finding their way underneath the OLED panels, which before was just a theory I had a long time ago, but now I'm really excited to see companies are officially talking about it and saying, no, we have figured out a way to do this. It is possible, and we'll probably even start using it on 2019 iPhones. That would be great if we could embed the earpiece into the top bezel of the iPhone so that it's not taking up space on the notch and we could start embedding those biometric sensors underneath the display. Then you would only need the cutout for uh, basically the front facing camera and then you're done. You're good. So of course, let me know what you think of all this stuff down in the comments below. This is your Apple Sheep here. I'll see you in the next one.